What's up machine freaks? Welcome back to another 3D Machines production. I'm extremely excited today because we're gonna tear into the skidoo. We tore into it a little bit yesterday. Well, it actually wasn't yesterday, it was yesterday's video. But it was actually two days ago for me. I actually went to Canada earlier today and yesterday. It was a blast. I had a little bit of fun. But I'm taking off my dance shoes and I'm gonna go ahead and tear into the skidoo. Now I asked you guys on the last video whether or not there was gonna be snow on this machine. A lot of you guys said there would be snow on the machine. And a lot of you said that there was gonna be no snow on the machine. Now here's how snow works. Snow is actually kind of crazy. For example, we had 46 degree weather. Water freezes at 32 degrees. So if you're 14 degrees higher, then why didn't the snow melt? That's a good insulator. Things of that nature. So even if my garage like got 60 degrees in here, 65 degrees, it would still take a long time to melt that snow. That's just how the snow works. But I love it not only because it's, it's very confusing, but also you get to ride in it. I'm like Santa Claus, baby. I think I can smoke Rudolph though. But I am done freezing, and I'm sick of seeing this white stuff on my sled. So we're gonna crank this guy up. Yeah, get some! I've had this heater doing its thing for the last 15 minutes. And you can see how stuck up that snow is. And it's right in the line of fire. I don't want to die of carbon monoxide poisoning, because that sucker runs off diesel. I don't want to run it too long. We're good. So I believe I found the problem with the hand warmer. And that is, two of these wires are frayed. So that means I have to re-solder them. I was kind of hoping that this was the problem. The only thing is, is there's not very much wire sticking out of this grip. Which means it's gonna be a little bit more difficult than if there were more wire hanging out of the grip. But I am very glad to say that I don't have to chase a wire or chase voltage or anything like that. So that's really easy peasy lemon squeezy. Do it up. I just finished up with my heated handle grip. Now I'm going to reinstall it and see if it works. So get ready to hold your breath, you guys. Luckily, you won't have to hold your breath as much as I do mine. So I'm going to assume that the heated handlebar grip is shot, so I'm gonna order a new one. Hopefully when that one comes in and I replace it, it will fix it. If not, then I'm going to have to start chasing wires and checking voltage and stuff like that. But while I was checking out the chain case, I was trying to find a drain plug to it, and I ended up finding this screw that goes to the switch assembly over here. I only had three out of the four, now I have four out of the four. So now I'm going to drain the fluid out of the chain case. A lot of people say like ATF fluid. A lot of people say all different sorts of fluids. But what I have, snowmobile chain case lube. I bought this last year, so I want to use it. It was $5.99 a piece. It was half off though, so six. So it was $6 for two instead of, you know, 12. I did find the drain plug. It's right under here. It's an Allen wrench. Hopefully it comes out. You guys know how I feel about Allen heads. They aren't that good. They strip out easily. I'm hoping this one doesn't strip. Now when I first checked this fluid, it was red. So it looked like the guy before me was running ATF. Automatic transmission fluid. Ah! This guy did what a lot of people do. So they stripped out the drain plug. Check that, he tightened the drain plug too much. I hammered a bit into that head. It got as much grip as I could and it was still too tight and it stripped out. 
So I have a backup, I hope it works. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the drain plug out of the chain case, so I, I ran out of everything. I have screw extractors, those aren't good enough. I'm gonna have to go up to Ian's house and get something that will actually take this plug out. It's really irritating me that I couldn't get either that done or the handlebar grip working today. Like, I don't wanna work on my stuff all day. I wanna go ahead and have something that works, go out and rip it, and have a good time that way. Don't get me wrong, I love working on my stuff, I just don't like fixing every little thing. And that's why a lot of people choose to go with brand new stuff rather than old stuff. Even though they have the ability to, or the time and energy to. I'm learning at a young age that, you know, these little tiny things can add up to a lot of time. My time is very important to me, as it is to a lot of you. I'm going to end up ordering three things today, one being the heated handle grip, two being the bolt, for the chain case, and once I get it out, I'll be able to put the new one in without hesitation, I'll have it on hand. The third thing is this rubber boot down here, and so when the guys wanna ride and when I wanna ride, everything's ready to rip. Turn on the key, turn on the choke, and just go. Now I was thinking about raising my handlebars and building some sort of riser here. The only problem is, <laughs> it seems like there's a problem with everything. This thing goes on the front here, and the way they built this, it's just, there's no way the, the machine would look totally awkward if I went ahead and put a riser in. So we're gonna say goodbye to my comfort, and we're just gonna rock the stock handlebar system. I did end up getting my new belt. That's actually sitting right here. Booyah! Booyah! Here's the belt right here. This one I'm actually gonna put on the right way. The last guys did not put the belt on. They put it on backwards, they put it reverse. So you're supposed to put these arrows so that they're facing the way that you want the snowmobile to go. So in this case, forward, I don't really wanna ride the sled backwards. I mean, maybe the other guys wanted to do that. Maybe they wanted to rip it in reverse a lot so they put the belt on backwards. I, I guess they were thinking ahead then. But unlike those guys, I wanna rip my sled forward. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this around now, if your belt doesn't come with arrows, which most modern belts should, 99.9% .9 of them should, but if they don't, how belts work is the text, you're supposed to read the text. If the text is going this way, and you're sitting outside the sled like this, how are you supposed to read that text? You're gonna have to go around and read the text like that, so that's wrong. If it's right, you can, you can clearly read the text. You see what I'm saying? You can read it. So I don't want to put this belt on just yet because I want to go ahead and fix this handle grip and I don't need the track spinning while I'm doing all this. I know the track works. I know all the bogey wheels look good. Don't forget, Brad Light Sweatshirts, Brad! Link in the description. So there's my brand new spare sitting in its spot. Once the other one comes in, I'll slap that on after I have this going. I also wouldn't mind buying another hood, but I gotta check into the prices yet. But if I don't like the prices, then maybe I'll use your guys' technique and take some zip dyes or something and use that as filler material and plastic weld that together. Because I have mentioned plastic welding to you guys in the past and you guys have come up with some really good ideas, like adding filler material just like welding. So I might have to try that. The only thing is, is zip ties, I'm not quite sure if all pla like all plastics don't use the same plastic. So if I can find a chunk of, if I can find a chunk of plastic that's more similar to this than just zip ties, then I'll use that. But maybe I'll experiment with zip ties. We'll try it, right? But for right now, you guys, I'm SOL. I gotta get tools and I gotta get parts. But I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. I mean, at least I got something done. At least I got rid of the snow. Hehehe, <laughs> sucker. The only problem now is on my floor is water. H2, no! All right, you guys, I'm gonna go break my wallet. I mean, spend some money. I mean, go order some parts. I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. I look forward to your comments. Leave a comment in the section below. If you got a tip or trick, I would like to know about it. If you have a snowmobile, tell me about it. And as always, don't forget to smash the hell out of that like button. Support the hard work that's done here at 3D Machines. Like, like look at my hands, they're, they're dirty. And my sweat, my brand new sweatshirt shot. All for you guys. Until tomorrow, Machine Freaks, the Machine Freak crew. 3D Machines out. Adios! Hey.